So, 3-2, win at Wimbledon at home. Great atmosphere, I hear. I wasn't here, unfortunately. But uh, a brilliant, brilliant victory. But a slow start again. Yeah, not, not a slow start. And uh, I'm not sure if this time, because we have no, we can't blame the journey, because we're at home. Yeah. So it was, uh, I don't think it was the journey. I just thought Wimbledon also moved the ball. They, so to give them credit, Wimbledon credit, they moved the ball very quickly. Uh, they got behind our press and they uh, were really clinical as well. So they, the first yeah, couple of shots went, went straight in. Uh, I think it was 2-0 up after uh, five or six minutes. 2-0 um, down, sorry, after five or six minutes. And not so much us starting slow, but I think um, Wimbledon just being really, really clinical and they moved the ball very quickly. And they, they have, they've got the quality players. They've quite a few uh, past, present, international, senior, junior players, Olympians, everything, Olympian coach as well. So they've got everything, the full package. So um, it was going to be difficult. Um, and it brings you up to sixth place. So it's, it's important in many ways, I guess. It gives you a bit of confidence, but it starts to bring you up in the table. That must be... Um, rewarding or feel rewarding for you yeah it's, it's always nice to see your uh, see your name off the the, the bottom but for, uh, for the players the confidence in just being um around mid table and you know that okay now we're right back in the mix let's um we can start chipping away getting some results and away we need to get some results away as well um and uh and you know an another couple wins um it doesn't have to be next week or the week after but just because you're mid table a couple wins always just get you back in the mix so you have some you have some points and uh they can play with uh so just yes yeah, good to be where we are right now right next week um beast and away that's going to be a challenge isn't it yeah beast and have sort of they, they haven't brought their fantastic form from last year where they were destroying teams by five and six goals but they still haven't lost the game they're still the league champions the playoff champions defending champions um, and they have uh, really some top quality players. The squad is, uh, is always a big squad. It's going to be difficult. Um, and uh, I mean, last year when we played them away, it was 7 1 to them. So we know it's going to be difficult. Again, we're traveling. So we're going to have to try and get that part right the way we prepare and make sure we give, give ourselves uh, the best possible opportunity. And the last question, really, for, from a personal perspective are you, do you enjoy coaching and playing at the same time? I mean, what, what are the challenges for you? Uh, no, I, I, I love it. I really do enjoy it. Um, the challenges is uh, normally on match day, just getting that balance right about me playing and concentrating on my game, and then uh, getting the tactics right as well. So I spend a lot of time doing all my coaching during the week and trying to get the players smarter, so that they can, you know, they can make decisions as a team on match day. So normally half-time team talks is always a team decision of what is going well, what we need to improve, and what we need to work on, um, and that that is the, the real challenge. Um, and it is been going all right with it works quite well um, and we have and of course if you if the if we were to make it uh, right to the the top the, the only top four that's when it, it when you really sometimes need uh, the extra help thank you yeah okay thanks for cheers all right thank you now go and do your press-ups get these guys sorted <laughs>